What is up, YouTubers? So today, since it's uh, it's still snowing out, uh, can't get it to focus. But anyway, there's still snow out, so it did uh, warm up a little bit. So I figured today, I'm going to go ahead and teach y'all how to put this on electronic ignition uh, on a 58 Chevy Del Rey, Bel Air, or Impala. So there's a part number there, 1168LS. And uh, I had points on this, so I figured that I'll try this out because I had a 62 Impala, and I did the same thing uh, long ago, back in the late 90s, and it worked really good for me. So I figured that I'll make a video on how to install this. So I ended up getting this here, and then I also got the flamethrower as well. Uh, See if I can find a can find a part number for this. Uh, oh, there it is. There we go. There's a part number right there. So I picked this up from uh, Summit Summit Racing, I believe. They got one, and you see there it's chrome and black. Well, chrome's not going to do any good here, so I wanted to get the black one. And it did came with a sticker, but here, but I uh, flipped it the other way around. So I did cheat a little bit on here. I already put the system in, as you can see, and I started up and it ran perfect. Um, the wire here that goes to the distributor. Some of the models come with the, what is that called? The, it's like a resistor or something, I believe. So, uh, this one, I didn't see come with one. So, I didn't need to add that on. But, um. Uh, other than that, it's it's been it was a really good setup. Uh, I just had to clip the wires here and tap them in, get them inside here. This wire is going to the starter, which is the I'll tell you about that later. But I did notice one thing: uh, these here does not fit well with the uh, the new coil. The new coil is like a thousandth thicker so I had a problem getting this in but how I solved that was here I ended up this little slot here I ended up had to enlarge it I only did one side the, the other side here I didn't do I just did this side in order to get it working so you may need a file or a carbon bit to uh, work that if you wanted to use a stock or they do sell these. But I don't know how they work, but I got this one to uh, work just perfect. Anyway, so these little clips here, I just loosened it up and then you take it apart. So as you see, there's the ignition box right there. And this setup, all I had to do was to remove this here because that's where the points go. So I bolt, I unbolt it here. And then there's another hole you see right there that hold the capacitor. And then here 
where this was connected to the points that was that was right here it it was a uh, you can screw it and it comes out too and then this part comes out this part comes out and then you pull the whole thing out uh, you don't have to mess with this I didn't have to mess with that this is a, a pin where the points rest on so this CD part this plate this whole plate you use this bolt here to bolt it down and there's a hole here that it lines up to and then it lines up on here so that's how I knew it fit perfect in right in that spot you do have to take this off this here this part it just pulls right out you just pull it and it comes right out so you got to remove this first then the whole this here you put this in you line it up to that bolt you line it up to that bolt and you line it up to this stud you place it in you put your wires in this here just gets pushed through it's a grommet and once you do that that's pretty much that's it's it it's it's in there it's ready to go so then you run your wires your red or orange looking wire here goes to your positive side this is the wire that goes to the distributor to the positive side of the coil and this positive side goes to the starter and then you got this black wire that goes to the negative and it goes to the distributor that's pretty much it that the directions is really easy to follow um i did start it up it sounded great but it did warn me that you shouldn't use copper no solid copper wire so these here is not copper wire um but i am going to change those out and i'm going to do the spark plugs too as well but that'd be another time um if y'all want to know the spark plug the bolt it was i think it was seven eighths seven eighths but yeah that's that's pretty much it um it takes less than 15 minutes to, to put this in um i've been hearing some stories that it had like an issue with the low um idle so i think it has something to do with this or with the carburetor but the carburetor is rebuilt, so it didn't give me no problem with that. But, yeah. Um, yeah, the plate. You pull this off first. Once you pull this off, this this distributor uh, rotor, pull that off. Place this in, just like I said. You take that screw off. And then you take the screw off over here that holds the capacitor. And then all the guts inside comes out. And then just make sure you clean this whole area. I did. It said in the, in the directions to clean it, so I did. Line it up to here. Line it up to there. And then the stud down here, you line it up to there. Get your wires through. Find the appropriate wire, wire size. And then you, uh, your black goes to negative. Your red or orange looking goes to the positive. And then you have your lead wire go from the positive to the starter. Easy. All right, everybody. I'm going to keep this video under 10 minutes because I'm using my phone. So I hope you like and enjoyed it. But there you go. All right, everybody, have a good day. Keep wrenching away. All right, bye.